So the first thing that we need to do to get into programming in Python is installing it. So let's go ahead and discuss about the three different ways that you're going to be installing it. Uh, first, we're going to cover Mac because that's what I'm using, and so uh, it's easiest to show you how to do it. So what you're going to do is open up Terminal, uh, which I've moved out of that folder and put right here. Uh, now, if you haven't installed Homebrew, uh, what you're going to do is run a Ruby command. It's going to download and set it up. So uh, basically what Homebrew is, is a package manager that you can use to install uh, a lot of packages. So if you're used to Linux, basically on Linux, if you want to install a package, you don't need to go uh, all around the internet and search for packages on websites and then download from shady sources and get viruses. That's just a bad construct of a uh, computer operating system. Uh, but unfortunately, that's how Windows works. And so I'm going to show you guys the right way to install in Windows as well. Using Linux or OS X, you're going to be installing through Terminal. So first, set up Homebrew. This is how you do it. Come to uh, brew.sh, and it's going to uh, give you this line of code here. You just paste this in Terminal, run it. It's going to install Brew. Once you've got Brew installed, what you're going to do is run Brew install Python. Now, that's how easy it is. OS X does ship with a version of Python, but it's, okay. Uh, but the, the version included in OS X is uh, 2.7 series, and I think it's uh, actually an old release. I think it's like 2.7.5 or something like that. So it's pretty old, um, at least uh, I think it was that. We can actually run Python version here. Uh, so, okay, so the version that OS X, Al Capitan ships with is 2.7.10. Uh, when you run brew install Python, it's going to install uh, Python 3. That's the command that we're going to have to be using because there's already a Python uh, version installed. So we're going to be using Python 3, and you can check the version. We've got 3.5.1. That's the version that Homebrew is going to install for you. Now, similarly, if you're on Linux, what you would do, uh, there's a few different ways because there's a few different package managers. So if you're on Arch Linux, I don't think you're going to need help setting it up. Uh, and actually, uh, a lot of Linux distributions have Python and Python 3 pre-installed. So you can just run Python dash dash version and Python 3 dash dash version and see what version you have installed. You might need to upgrade it. It might be fine. Uh, if you have 3.4, you can follow along with uh, this course. I don't think there's that many differences between the two versions. Uh, and there's definitely not code breaking differences. So that shouldn't be a problem. However, if you do notice that you're having a problem, uh, you could upgrade uh, the version of Python, either through using a repository or otherwise. If you're on Ubuntu, you're going to be using the apt-get command. So you'd run sudo apt-get install Python 3. And that's going to install Python 3 for you. Uh, if you're on Fedora, I believe used to be yum. I think it's DNF now. Yeah, so let's uh, just review exactly what commands you're going to be using. I think it's like DNF install. So you can still use yum, I guess. Okay, so you can use yum to install. So what, what, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to run sudo yum install. And then I believe the package is just called Python 3. Python 4 is going to be pretty amazing, but right now we're using Python 3. So, uh, yeah. so there we go. Uh, now, if you're on Arch, and I said I don't think you need uh, any help getting it set up, uh, but just for, you know, if you are new to Arch, uh, you'd run sudo pacman s and then python3. But again, python3 should be pre-installed. 
So you shouldn't even need to do any of this, but if you do, that's how you do it. Now on Windows, you do need to go download a file from the internet and run it. The, the difference between what I said before and what I'm saying now is this is not a shady location. So what you're gonna do is go to python.org, go to the download sections, and if you just hover over this, it's actually gonna show you a dropdown and you can choose what platform you're on. So you would choose Windows, and oh, they actually have a 3.6. Uh, which we're not going to we're not going to be using because this is an alpha, I believe. So click latest Python 3 release, Python 3.5.1. It's going to take you to this page and ba basically give you a change log and whatnot. If you go down here, make sure you get the version that's compatible with your system. If you have a computer that is not obsolete, it should be running a 64-bit operating system, which means it has a 64-bit processor. Uh, so you would download this one right here, uh, Windows x86-64 executable. And what that's going to download is an exe file which you can uh, use to install the program. If you're running a 32-bit system, you're going to download this one, just the x86. Uh, and yeah, just install it. Now there is one note on the installation. When you run the installation, there's going to be uh, a certain step where you have some checkboxes and one of them is going to say add Python to the path uh, variable. Make sure that's checked because if it's not checked, if you try to run Python in the command line, you won't be able to uh, because it won't know where to find this uh, mysterious Python command. So uh, it, by checking that box, basically it tells Windows where the Python binary file is located. So you want to make sure Windows is aware of where that file is. And that's all there is to installing it. Uh, to confirm that you've got it installed, open up a command prompt or terminal and just type Python 3. And it should drop you down into the interpreter, which we're going to be discussing in the next video.